have nearly reached the end of the theme park season within the UK as Alton Towers prepares for its final weekend of opening. And as much as you would think the end of the season means, you know what, they're just going to sort of tone it down a bit and then sort of get us excited for the new season when that comes around. Uh, no. Alton Towers are leaving us with so many questions already. With a brand new logo that's appeared to do with their fireworks show that gives hints towards a certain ride being rethemed, or maybe some more hints and teasers towards that brand new ride coming next year, and something within the fireworks that I'm already questioning, despite the fact the fireworks aren't on yet. It's just all sort of left me wondering what on earth is going on at Alton Towers this weekend? There's so many unanswered things, but I'm sure we'll find out in due course. So in this video, I'm going to discuss some of the speculation to do with this, and then I'm actually going to go to Alton Towers and experience the fireworks spectacular and see if we have any of those questions answered by the end of the night. So if you do go on to enjoy this video and you want to see more speculative content, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Right then, let's go straight back to the start of the season. Uh, if you don't remember, Nemesis Reborn did open this year. It feels like it happened like five years ago, yet also yesterday. Time is a strange construct, but with this new reimagined Forbidden Valley and Nemesis Reborn, the story of the Phalanx was brought in way, way more. The Phalanx obviously being this military group that Oh, big monster, let's capture it. That's pretty much their principles, I think. And during this season as well, we've had that announcement and sort of leak of the fact there's a new ride coming in Forbidden Valley next year. So the Phalanx have been used more towards that as well. And they've been used so much that they've taken over the fireworks show this year. Because as much as we thought, oh, maybe there's just a slight Phalanx storyline in here, the whole thing is called the Phalanx Expo. And we're going to be witnessing the Phalanx Expo. It says on the website that they are going to invite us to an exclusive takeover of the Phalanx where the UK's most immersive fireworks show meets a dazzling and unique storyline. Oh, I hope John Dalton is there. Bro's gonna announce Nemesis is closing again. As day turns to night and darkness falls across the resort, be swept into the thrilling Phalanx Expo, an electrifying evening spectacle filled with stunning lights, live music, and breathtaking pyro, delivering an ultimate fireworks spectacular like never before. Did I sound like the monorail guy then? Yes, I did. But no, that seems very, very cool. And uh, there's a few more questions since they've actually set up the Phalanx Expo. First of all, regarding these flags that have been put up with the Phalanx Expo logo. And it looks very spacey. But we'll get to that in a moment. And there's also a big question mark about the storyline that has been posted on their app. Because you know how I jokingly said about that John bloke? The one who died in that Nemesis storyline? Well, somehow he's returned from the dead. Because the description of the Phalanx Expo fireworks show is that new Phalanx CEO John Dalton is set to launch the latest line of Phalanx products and will be blown away by world-class fireworks, lasers, lights, all of that. It's going to be a good fireworks show, but how is bro alive? He literally got swept to the floor by the nemesis monster and dragged back into the darkness and somehow he's still here. You gotta respect it, don't you? He'll still be here when Nemesis Reborn Reborn comes around. But I think that is quite cool, and obviously later in this video, we're actually gonna find out what that means. So I don't wanna look into that too much. But the one thing I do wanna look into quickly is that spacey-looking logo, because uh, it looks a lot like Galactica. Doesn't it just? Obviously, there's been a lot of rumors going around about Galactica getting a retheme maybe next year or the year after. And we really want to see that. But we didn't know with next year's budget if they'd be able to do that alongside Toxic um, Project Ocean. And we weren't too sure why there were Seek the Truth logos and stuff. But they just seemed to forget about it after a while. So maybe Galactica wasn't getting rethemed. But now, with this very space-looking theme, I know it's a fireworks show, so I'm probably looking way too deep into this once again. But having like the planet in the background and the text that looks very much like the Galactica logo text, and seeing that they are pushing for this Phalanx Expo theme of this fireworks show, I do think that something for Galactica is definitely coming in the next couple years. And this could just be a hint towards it. Who knows? But alongside that, I've heard there's a few other things at the resort around this new ride coming to Forbidden Valley, and also that could be in the Phalanx Expo, I guess. We're now actually going to go to the resort and check out what's been happening. Although for you, that is right now, but for me, it's a lot later. You get what I mean. Let's go and have a construction update, a teaser update, and watch the fireworks show. I'm going to depart now. Walk out that door. Ready? 
Me neither, Em. Oh my god. We're on the pathway to Alton Towers once again. This pathway, I've, I've seen this pathway too much recently. Oh, but we're here for the reasons I've already explained, so uh, let's just get in and look. Oh my god. First of all, what is all this? There's loads of toxic stuff. 2025. There's smoke pouring out of toxic cylinders. I like this. Pulsating green. And then, oh, it's just the, yeah, similar things all the way around. In front of the new flat ride. They put some metal things on the front as well. And there's the uh, projections going mad again from up there. This is very cool though. They didn't have to do this. And they have. Go in the extra mile. Thank you, Alton Towers. I just want to stick my head in there. There's some weird X thing, like muscles, going over bunk 94. That's weird. I don't know what that is. I don't even know where that's coming from. But yeah, the flat ride's over there. Bunker 94 with the pluses. And then uh, this very cool thing here. So those stairs would be the exit. And those doors would be something else. There's more smoke. This is great. Can it be 2025 already, please? Yeah, there's some metal guardrail thing. I don't know what that is. Very, very interesting. The blade. How long will this survive in this area? Galactica. How long will that survive? Well, we might find out in this firework expo. As you can tell by the flooring and the loud noise, we've made our way to the lawns. M's in her woolly hat. And look, we have a timer. Counting down the time left until the Phalanx Expo begins. The Phalanx member of uh, military on top of the, the tower. I'm getting copyrighted. The Phalanx Expo commencing in 15 minutes. Welcome to the future. Oh, the future. Founded in 1963 to protect Earth more. against the strange and unusual. Phalanx worked in secret from Roswell to Rendlesham Forest, the Pyramids of Giza to Stonehenge. Phalanx sheltered the human race against knowledge of alien life until an event codenamed SW3. There's not long to go. Flying boom sound effect.
keep the fire on. That was lovely. New ride coming. 20 to 25. I think it might be called Toxicator. There's lovely lighting here and I don't actually know if I'm gonna get copyrighted for this. Maybe I should go, should I go somewhere else? Yeah, I will. Yeah, that's the Phalanx Expo, you can't really see. Phalanx logo? No, that's not the, there's no Phalanx logo and there's no me anymore. Let's walk and chat about that show. So yeah, we've got to meet new Phalanx CEO, John Dalton. and see some of his, uh... wait, what? We didn't see a special, he got blown away. And there was loads of lights, lasers, and a lot of fire as well. For that entire fireworks show, there were some very interesting <laughs> things, of course. We had uh, a massive battle between Nemesis and what seemed like a spacecraft, which could have been Galactica, which I've never thought about Galactica's re-theme in that way. I've always thought about it in a phalanx jet-like getaway thing. To have it as like a war battle between Nemi and that would be so cool. But as much as that may not have been an actual like Galactica confirmation of retheme, that would be really cool to see. And of course, there was the huge announcement of Submit to the Spin. Uh, I say huge announcement, we really just got to see the quote again and a new graphic showing it's going to be toxic. And there was a lot of green and black, so I think we definitely know what color scheme it's going for. Yeah, very, very cool. I'm so, so excited for this. Let's talk more about that teaser. Look, the lights are back. I've got a light bulb. Light bulb moment. But yeah, there was some like metal pipe work that we were following down. Loads of like slime looking things as well. And it was very toxic. Like that. And right at the end, it did show these plus symbols and uh, it sort of showed a spinning background. And uh, as Dylan said to me earlier, it looked a bit like a bird's eye view of a Fall Guys map. But I would be inclined to think that that thing at the end will have the text over it of the name of the ride, uh, which could be Project Ocean or Toxic Air. No, it's called Ocean. And yeah, I reckon that graphic at the end that I've got up on screen right now will be the, uh, the logo behind, and then we'll have the text in front. But uh, very exciting times for next year at Alton Towers. But yeah, all questions reside on this thing's future and the brand new flat ride over on the other side. We have no idea what's going on currently. Obviously we know a lot about the flat ride because there's been train marks and stuff like that and construction. We know nothing about this. Will it turn into a war against Nemesis like the fireworks show showed? Or will it just stay with Galactica for a while? Or will it become some sort of like fleet of airplanes? Air uh, fly. Hopefully as the weekend goes on, we find out a little bit more if anything is happening. Uh, I think the main thing will be that new flight ride though. So uh, yeah, rest in peace Galactica though, eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching this very epic vlog. That lighting's awful. Thanks. Subscribe. Goodbye.